What's going on guys, Sahaman back with another review. And today, I'm excited for this one here because I'm, ex I, I'm curious to see how this damn Batmobile is going to turn out. I haven't seen any reviews on this. I was waiting for me to get this. I own the old school Kenner one, and I will be doing comparisons in another video with all the McFarlane Batmobiles. So today, we are taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Gold Label Collection, Batman Forever Batmobile with Alfred Pennyworth. I'm pretty sure they're going to release this Alfred in a uh, individual packaging. They did the same thing with Lucius Fox for with the, with the one that came with the tumbler. Um, there is an Amazon exclusive for this one that just is a glow-in-the-dark version rather than light-up. I have that one on pre-order as well. And um, uh, link in the description down below, guys, for Big Bad Toy Store if you guys want to pre-order this. Or not pre-order this. It's in stock right now. Link below. They had a bunch of, the, uh, of Batman chases too. I'm pretty sure those are gone from the, from the DC Multiverse line. But a lot of good stuff, link below for a Big Bad Toy Store. Okay, so packaging. This is a gold label exclusive. You got a cool image right here on the front. You come to the back. Well, actually, it says lights and sounds as well. And then we got Batman Forever right here on this side. And then it's got some instructions here. We'll get to that in a second. So it says here, fits most 7-inch scale figures. So we'll see if this actually fits. And right here on the bottom, there should be some instructions. Wow. Does it have batteries? That's the thing. Does this include batteries it says open cockpit so it's got some instructions on there lights and sound effects um it doesn't say anything about batteries included or not use alkyne yeah it doesn't say anything if the battery maybe the batteries include i'm not 100 percent sure but this does have lights and sound so i'm curious to see how cool this is and i'm curious to know why this is a green light and not a blue light like it was in the film. So let's go ahead and open this up, guys, and let's see if this right here is going to be a pickup or is it gonna be a pass? Can I persuade you to take a sandwich with you, sir? I'll get drive through. All right, guys, so we're gonna take a look at everything that comes in this set. So first off, you do get a Batmobile card with Alfred on here. It's an animation, or it's like an artwork, I should say. It's not an actual figure, so it's they actually drew this. And then on the back, there's a little bit of a bio. You get your circular base, and then you get the Alfred Pennyworth figure. So let's go ahead and take this guy out of the packaging and see how good this actor or this, this character looks. So obviously this is based off of, is it Michael Goff? Is that how you say his name? From the first Batman film. Let's see how they did with the likeness. It's not bad. It's not it's not bad at all. Um uh, I'm trying to think of the the one that DC Universe Classics did uh several years back. I mean, this one doesn't look bad, don't get me wrong. The glasses, I mean, can you lift the glasses up on this one? I don't know. I don't want to I don't want to break it. Um it looks good. The the pa I mean, if you see it in person, he does look a little bit pale. He looks a little bit too too pale, but I mean, it it doesn't look bad. What do you guys think? Does it does it look like the actor who who plays Alfred? I think it's Michael Goff is how you say his name. Uh, the sculpting on the hair looks pretty good. It's just gray with a little bit of uh, like white in there, and he is wearing a black suit with white gloves, and then he has a trigger finger hand. I mean, why not? And an open hand here. The suit itself looks pretty good. There you go. See that? And then you have the black dress shoes. There's the bottom, just have peg holes. So it's like a, it's just all sculpted right here on the sleeves and then the body part is like a soft rubber material. So it doesn't look bad. I mean, it it kind, it kind of looks like, and look, no, it looks like the actor. It look, I'm looking outside of the viewfinder. I think what's throwing it off is the glasses. I think the glasses might be throwing off the likeness a little bit. I think that's what's kind of throwing it off a little bit. But you got a tie, the shirt, and then the undershirt there. So, and it's going to have your standard DC multiverse articulation on him. He's got double jointed knees, double jointed elbows, but there is Alfred Prettyworth. He doesn't come with any accessories, unfortunately. I think this guy should have came with maybe a tray or, or something. He should have, but this is all you, you basically get. So there's Alfred Prettyworth. It's a... Here is the Batmobile, and I haven't even checked yet if this thing is needs batteries or not. I have not checked, uh, but it does come with two small fins right here. You got two small fins, and then you have one, one large one that I believe goes right dead center. So you have this large one right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put, well, before we do that, let's take a look at the Batmobile really quick. So here's the top look at this bad boy. See that? 
looks pretty good. There's the light up area right there. You got the Batman Forever logo on the rims. You got some tread on the tires. Here's the bottom of this. It's even got the Batman emblem on the bottom. So that actually looks pretty cool. And oh, I'm gonna need a screwdriver to freaking open this. I don't know if this thing has batteries in it. And then here's the back right here. Look at this thing. I don't know if this lights up. It should have. It should light up. It, I don't know if it does, but it should. It's got the bat emblems on all, all of the uh, the tires here. I liked this Batmobile when the movie came out. It's. It, I thought it was really cool. Here's the front of it. So you got lights right here. It's. It's. Why didn't they? If these are lights, why didn't they just make these a light up feature for the lights? That's kind of crazy. But I mean, the sculpting on this is very nice. It is. It does look really good. And then let's see. I wasn't reading the instructions on how to open the hood. Does it slide? Okay, so it slides forward just like that. Is there, there's the inside here. It's pretty roomy. It's a, it should have been a two seater, but it's not. And then you have the, uh, the cockpit right there. And hopefully you guys can see everything in there. So you got the steering wheel. There's several bat logos there right there on the, on the these are all stickers too. It's not like sculpted in there. Those are all just stickers. Steering wheel, which does it move? Does not move. Uh, there's no gear shift in there. Whoops. But it it's pretty cool. What do you guys think? I mean, I, I would have preferred sculpted, but it's not bad, right? Looks pretty good. And I, I again, I would have preferred two seater, but it is what it is. You know, that's that's what we're gonna get. So let's. I mean, it looks good though. Look at this thing. It does look good. The sculpting on this thing looks really, really good. I, I like it. I like how this looks. I love this Batmobile. I'm not going to lie. The design on this looks really, really nice. Okay, let's go ahead and attach the fins. So the big one is going to go right up top. Let's see if we can just slide this sucker. As it go. Here we go. So we just snap that in just like that. And then I don't know if these tell you if this is like left or right. Okay, that obviously what you you can tell by the I'm assuming you can tell by the design on this. So this one will go. No, it doesn't tell you what's left or right. I don't does it matter? No, I don't know. You can see some holes on that. Let me try on the back one here. Maybe this goes there like that and then put this one just like that. And there you go. There's the fully assembled Batmobile. What do you guys think? Look at that. Look at this thing. I think it looks fantastic. Look at this. Look at that. That looks great. This looks really, really good. I'm, I'm impressed. I am impressed with the sculpting on this. The fin is hitting my case in the back. This fin in the back. Whoa, see, look, this is coming off. The fin in the back is super, super long. All right. So I want to see where is the light up switch on this? There should be an off and on button on here. I might have to read the instructions because I don't know where the switch is, if it's anywhere around here. So I'm gonna have to get the instructions. Oh, it's right here. Oh no, it doesn't have freaking batteries. Wait, that, wait, that's how you open the car. This is how you open it. Is it? Let's see. So that's how you open it right here. There's two areas here. I don't know if one of them is meant for the light, light up feature though. Cause this one doesn't do anything. Dang it, I'm gonna have to put batteries in this. So I got the batteries installed on this bad boy. So it's three AAA, here we go. This is the button. So the one on the on the other side over here is the button for the, the cockpit to open. Okay, so that looks like it's just to get the lights on. And then... That's pretty cool. I don't understand why it flickers though. I don't know why the lights just can't stay on. What happens if you hold it? Is there any secrets or anything if you hold this thing? I mean, it, it would be cool if this thing just stayed like lit up. Does it stay, like, I don't know if that stays. Like the inside, the problem with this too, the inside doesn't light up. It would have been cool if the inside lit up. The tires do light up though, because they do light up in the um, in the film. But you can see here all the, the light up features. Again, there's nothing, nothing in the back lights up. And then uh, nothing in the, 
the cockpit lights up, but the top lights up, but nothing, nothing inside. But it's so bright that it actually does light up the, the floor in there because you can see the lights from in there. So, but the light turns off. They sh I wish it had a feature where the lights would turn, would just stay on. But how do you guys feel about the sound effect? I, I, I just don't understand why it flickers. All right, guys, so now is gonna be the real test. So right here we have the Batman Forever Batman figure. I mean, there's two of them because we just got two of them recently. Um, so I'm kind of, I wanna see if this is actually in scale with the figure. It doesn't look bad. It honestly does not look like it's not in scale. It looks pretty good, to be honest with you. I was afraid that this was gonna be similar to like the Michael Keaton on how the Batmobile, he was like way taller than Batmobile. I mean, he still is tall, but this, this is like a really big body, so it does look like he'd fit inside um, or it'd be a true to size. So let's, I open the wrong button. So, or push the wrong button, here we go. So we're gonna see if we can get Batman from Batman Forever, Val Kilmer here, if this guy can actually fit inside. So we'll get him in a seated position, right? Just like that. See if we get any scuffs or anything. I mean, I don't know. We're gonna do this uncut. Okay. Okay, so if you kinda like slouch him a little bit maybe. Okay, so it does fit, he does fit. I can probably get him in there a little bit better. Let me see, let me take the focus off. So you can see that there. He can, he can fit in there. I mean there's I mean, I, I think I can maneuver his legs around a little bit more. If I close this leg up a little bit, I think I can, let me see. There should, there should be a, let's see. There we go, there we go. Okay, just gotta squeeze his legs in a little bit. Oh yeah, that's way better. Okay, so that's way better. You just gotta make sure his legs are squeezed together. And look at that, see the, the, the headroom there? It's definitely better in space. So he, he pretty much clears it there. He looks like he's got a lot of room in there and you just close it and there you go. You can't even see it, the windows are so tended. Batman does sit perfect in here. Should have been a two-seater though. Should have been a two-seater. If you turn the light on on this, you can see a little bit inside there. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna turn the lights down. Well, they're already off, and then we're gonna see how well this lights up in the dark. Oh yeah, that looks great. That looks really good when you see it in the dark, but why is this green? This was never green in the film. The light is supposed to be blue. Go for a little ride on my love machine, baby. Woo! All right, guys, so here is my review for the brand new McFarlane Toys Batman Forever Batmobile with Alfred Pennyworth from the Burton and Schumacher films. This is a great sculpt. This is a great vehicle. It's pretty damn big, and especially with the fins, it's it, the length of it is pretty big. Now, it does have its flaws. Uh, the light, for one, is incorrect. They, I wish it was a two-seater, but it, it's not. And, and I mean, the vehicle's already big in itself and Batman fits in there pretty good. But if it was a two-seater, I think this would be a lot better. Probably be a little bit more expensive and a little bit bigger. Sound effects were not needed. I think personally, the sound effects for this vehicle are honestly not needed. They should have just given us no sound effects, put some lights inside of the vehicle or give us some headlights or some tail lights, or make the turbine, is that what it's called? The, back, the exhaust in the back? Make that light up red give us some headlights, and make the car light up in the proper blue color. But other than that, the sculpt is great. I absolutely love this. I honestly thought I was going to be disappointed in this. I'm not. I'm really not. I mean, it, it does have its issues, but this is a gigantic vehicle, and it is beautifully sculpted. So I, I, I will say this is definitely a pickup, guys. I'm, again, I'm going to be picking up the Glow in the Dark one. I will be doing some comparisons with this one and the uh, vintage one, the Kenner one, in a future video. So we can see, you know, the differences between them. 
And um, but yeah, it's it's other than that, it's a it's a great vehicle. It really is. It's a really really good vehicle, but it does have a lot of issues with it. Um, so let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you guys think. Is this a pickup? Is it a pass? I'm hoping. I mean, he said he's going to do every vehicle for all the films, so I can't wait to see a Batwing for this one. I, I'm I'm excited to see a Batman and Robin one. He can't get the Batman and Robin one wrong. If he gives us a two seater for the Batman and Robin. I give up on McFarlane because uh, that is a one seater and it's got to light up red because I believe it's a red one too. So let me know your comments. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Make sure you guys comment, support the channel, thumbs up the video, share the video. Let me know if this is a pickup. Is it a pass? Do you own it? What do you guys think about it? If you're not going to get it, let me know why. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you soon. Later. Later.